hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then hello my name is lawn and on my channel i create affordable diys and thrift flips on a budget today's video is part of the quick change challenge is being hosted by Teresa b diy and thank you Teresa, for choosing me for your co-host for today's challenge for those of you who are new to the quick change challenge you basically have to create some reversible decor so without further ado let's jump right into today's video I went to Home Depot and I picked up a piece of wood. So guys, this wood was um, in the size of a one by four and it was eight feet long. Basically what I did with this wood was I cut it into four different pieces. One piece was 27 and a quarter inch long. One piece was 23 inches long. One piece was 15 inches long and one piece was 21 inches long. I will list everything in the description box below when it comes to the placement of where um, each piece of wood went on my base piece. And I also put some little dots on the bottoms so I'll know where to drill uh, my pilot hole so I can go back in and sink my screw in. Okay, so let's get started. Here you can see off camera, I have painted all three of these and I used my um, Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and I used my Mine Arts in the color, um, chalk paint in the color black. So here's the bottom piece. I probably should go in and fix this a little bit because now that I can see it better. Um, but that's going to be the bottom to go let's see. This is the hardest. Let's see if I can get y'all more of an aerial view to go on the bottom here. Holiday Green by Craft Smart and Deco Art by Americana. So each of these paints were acrylic, so I had to use quite a few coats. I think I did about maybe three to four coats on the green and two to three on the red and then i went in with the um, chalk paint in the color plaster for the taller piece and i think i did about three coats over that one as well more so to cover the black ink that was already on the wood now guys what i will say is i'm sure it is possible but I, my husband i t i feel like he just didn't want for me to mess up my project and so he recommended that i um drill the holes and put the dowel rods versus putting screws because it would have created the wood to split um and so overall i wish i had a, maybe just gotten a thicker wood because i would have been able to glue the boards together and then adhere them to the base with um, a couple of screws and been done so again use your discretion in doing this if you choose to recreate something like this um it was a little bit of a challenge so <laughs> for me and my husband was so great to help but i did drill the holes and we did um, do all that part off camera because it got to the point where it was almost frustrating because i was you know afraid that we were going to split the wood because the wood was just a little bit thin but again um Use your discretion if you want to uh, choose this length of wood, or I'm sorry, this width of wood versus a thicker wood. Um, just know that um, take your time with it and, you know, I, I just, just take your time with it so you don't mess up your project. This is what it looked like once we put the three dowel, dowel rods in. Okay, this is the finished board put together i have to stand it up for y'all and this is a happy accident the um sawdust with a what i thought was a wet paintbrush it apparently had a little bit of white in it still i will say you can see some imperfection in it it's not what i wanted it to be but i'm gonna make it work you can see the gap there I really wanted them to be side by side, but apparently they didn't want to be. I think it was just because, um, I don't know. I, I guess I misjudged my pilot holes at the bottom. What I wanted to do is 
glued them all side by side together and then place them one unit towards the bottom. Well, let me show you. Place them one unit here towards the bottom, um, but I got a thinner wood, so probably should have gone with a thicker wood and I would have been able to do that. And then once I got those in place, I would have been able to drill uh, screws. But neither here nor there, it's okay. It's gonna work out. I sanded down the little piece right here because now we're gonna go in and start um, making this the snowman. So I um, got these from the Dollar Tree. It's some stones that I'm going to use for the coal, to mimic the coal. These are so cute. Oh, that one's broken. So let me take the time to welcome all of the new subscribers. Thank you so much for your subscription to my channel. And if you're coming over from the playlist, then thank you for stopping by my channel. And again, my name is Lon, and here on my channel, I create affordable DIYs and thrift flips on a budget. If that is content that you like seeing, I hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel and turning on your post notification bell to all so you don't miss an upload from me. And guys, don't forget to check out the playlist. I have listed Teresa's channel as well as this playlist in the description box below. My stash. <laughs> this is gonna be the best project ever. When you have all these accidents, it just makes for the best project. But I was thinking about putting it towards the bottom here to cover up the gap that I have in the wood from where it didn't sit well. I think I'm gonna be able to salvage this. I'm gonna, it's gonna take some off camera work, if you know what I mean. And then um, just probably like get it on there where it does like that. So definitely wanna make sure to keep my buttons for this guy up high. Maybe this guy down low. I don't know, but I'm going to have to put this back together and glue that off camera. One, two, three, because this will be their nose. And because I don't want it to show through on the other side, I'm going to have to bring them in kind of a little bit. So I'm going to go paint these, fix the let it snow sign, and I'll be back. So I used the red acrylic paint to paint the clothes pins, and I picked up a pack of socks. And the reason for that is because I felt like they would be super cute um, being scarves and hats. The only thing that I didn't like about using this particular sock, which it was fuzzy, it got everywhere. Like when I cut it, it immediately started to spread. So <laughs> keep that in mind. If you go for a fuzzy look, it's probably going to get everywhere. It's going to look super cute in the end, but it's little fuzzy balls and fuzziness everywhere. So comment below if you feel like this was a good choice to use um, this little fuzzy uh, sock. Should I have used maybe some fabric? Should I have used um, a different type of sock? I don't know, but comment below and let me know some other things that I could have used for their hats and scarves. So a lot of times when I'm crafting, I will draw things out just to give myself perspective as to how I want it to look. So this little post-it, um, looking back on this, this is the side with the packages. And I think I stuck to what I drew out. Um, I think I did. I don't know. So part of the reason why I wanted to make the snowmen is because where I live, we do not get snow. And if we do get snow, it's like maybe a quarter of an inch. And people just act like it is snowed in kind of snow. It, be, it gets to be super duper crazy where I live. So let if you get snow in your city during um, the winter months, drop a snowman emoji in the comments below. And if you don't have um, emojis, then just type out the word snowman. And insert mistake number three. Yes, this really happens, guys. This is r legit what happens when you're a crafter. Totally forgot these. 
<laughs> can't eat your nose, right? Oh my gosh, how did I forget that? No worries. Thankfully, I am a person who thinks quickly on my feet. I took the clothespin apart, cut it at the point where there was a little divot, and boom, we have noses. <laughs> and guys, so this is how they turned out. I actually love them, even though this project gave me so much heartache in the beginning. But look at them, guys. And there's a sign that I fixed off camera. If you notice, I did the snowflake a little bit darker to camouflage the glue that had to go into fixing that. So now let's jump right into the backside, the presents. All right, so I'm gonna go in with that same um, holiday green and what was the red color? Uh, true red. And now for these two here, I am going to, I, I got some ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I don't know if I'm gonna wrap them as presents like that or keep them as their same little colors. <laughs> I don't know, but somehow I'm gonna incorporate these three uh, ribbons. And for the white present, I felt it would be super cute to do some polka dots. So let's see if um, I could do this. So let's start off with red. I mean, this is not red, clearly green. So using this little sponge, it was really neat. I just dabbed it inside of the paint and I pushed down just barely, but I did notice that it was kind of leaving a little bit of see-throughness. So I did have to go over them about two times and ultimately after looking at the project off camera, I did distress it because it was just looking it was looking a little too bright and vibrant and I did want it to be a little more of a rustic look you guys will have to let me know i probably didn't achieve the rustic look because i did put that glittery ribbon on there but i know you guys will let me know if i should have left it the way it was with the bright colors or if i should have distressed it and taken the ribbon off i don't know i'm kind of partial to the snowman side because we want it to snow uh but yeah comment below and let me know what you guys think about this one here i'm just trying my best to wrap a present and i'm trying to stay on the red not on the white and i'm trying to make sure that it's nice and even and that the glue is not smudging out everywhere okay so this is not a mistake this is more of a flop i thought it would be super cute to try to mimic a plaid print big 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 mistake I went down this entire piece and put red stripes horizontally and then I went back and did three stripes vertically and when I looked at it it looked like a skyscraper and I was like this looks horrible <laughs> so I pulled it off left of a couple of the strips or left a couple pieces of ribbon and ultimately I like the uh, second option a lot better because that first one it just the vision was there but the craft did not want to uh comply <laughs> i'm going in with this um tag that i picked up from the dollar tree and taking off the buffalo check i'm so sorry to everyone who loves it but it's just not gonna go with this craft it's just not so i took off the little buffalo uh check a uh, ribbon and I tied a, just a simple shoestring bow in the red. And here's where I'm looking at this. And I'm like, this looks horrible. They're going to laugh at me. So I was like, nope, this has got to come off. Take it off. Thankfully that I, I didn't tape or glue every single place, but I glued in like three spots. So it came off very easily and it did not uh, mess up the project. So I was super grateful for that. But um yeah, this is this is what happens behind the scenes, guys. I I this is what happens. So if you've liked what you've seen so far in this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That helps my channel grow and it lets YouTube know that you like seeing content just like this. So now I'm going in with the Merry Christmas 
tag and I am going to just glue this down um, placing the red bow there as well and then I go in off camera I thought I was recording but apparently the, it, I wasn't so off camera I actually went in and did some distressing and that's the part where I um, asked you guys to let me know if I should have just left it at this vibrant red and green color here or if I should have continued on with the, the, the um, distressing. So let me know in the comments. So that's pretty much all for this project. And this is how it turned out. Um, I like it. I really do. Still leaning towards the other side. But again, I want to hear from you guys. So let me know. Which side do you like? Are you team presents? Or are you Team Snowmen? Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Um, we're almost to 900 subscribers. Can you believe it? It's all because of all of you guys for your continued support. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Don't forget to check out the playlist. There's so many talented people. Um, and I can't wait to watch it myself. And don't forget to let them know that I sent you over. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Um, take care and be Thanksgiving. Bye.